Who would have imagined? Like if you went to a psychic two years ago and they told you, uh, Bill Cosby will be in jail and OJ will be out. <laughs> you would have said, give me my fucking money back. You don't know what you're talking about. That's impossible. But here we are. I read an article where OJ said he wants to be a preacher. Yeah, that shit made me laugh too. Because if OJ preach, he have to preach the nine commandments, okay? <laughs> That motherfucker don't know all 10, come on. He don't know all 10. Anybody got a friend that always got negative shit to say? To the point where you almost try to avoid them? Anybody? Yes. Ooh, let's talk about them motherfuckers. Just people that, you know, you could say hi first and beautiful day out but they start conversations with, you know who got chlamydia? You know, stop, man, stop. What the fuck you bring that to me for, you know? But he said to me, um, out of the blue, yo, man, I didn't know OJ didn't like you, bro. And I'm like, what? This is the, the butcher of Brentwood you're talking about, okay? Don't tell me this motherfucker don't like me. Somebody who's been accused of cutting off heads and shit, don't tell me this motherfucker don't like me. Nah, that's in me. I can't stop thinking about that now. I went to Vegas, and apparently OJ lives in Nevada now. Okay, I walk in a restaurant with my girl. After my show, we go to have a steak, and uh, I seat her. And then I go to the bathroom, because I'm over 50. And, uh, yeah. Some of you know what I mean. You have to pee all the fucking time when you're over 50. All the, there are times when I pee, and then I'm washing my hands, and I say, hey, I have to pee again. <laughs> Where did that pee come from? That, I don't need a prostate check. I should speak to Penn and Teller about this. <laughs> This pee just reappeared. <laughs> so anyway, I see her, and I'm headed to the bathroom. By the way, don't you hate when bathrooms make us play gender jeopardy? Can't they just put men and women on the door? We don't need to guess what the fuck this is and what the garment is. And I've gone to bathrooms, and it's like an uh, Amish bonnet and a wave cap. I don't want to guess. I, I have to pee. I don't want to guess what she's the brother's bathroom. Yeah, you ever go to a game or something and be in the bathroom next to your son? I've been in a Dodger game where my son is in the stall next to me. And right before I start peeing, it's like, hey, I think Seabiscuit just came into his stall. It's like, <sighs> I mean, he's peeing and he's tearing the fucking urinal up, you know? I see white dust flying and shit. <sighs> Right, I still haven't peed, you know, and I, the porcelain going over my stall. And I see the words American Standard fly that way, and I'm like, wow, that's how my dick used to be. That's how my dick was at one time. And then he finishes, you know. And I say, bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> but I'll be back. I digress. So I'm going to the bathroom, and I think when you fear something, it finds you in life. Uh, just as I go to push open the door, the door opens, and it's OJ. And I'm standing like this, and all the shit you said you was gonna say if you saw him, you know, I just asked that motherfucker, what up, killer, what up, you know? <laughs> I didn't say none of that shit. I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all exactly what I did. My hand was like this, and I said, ooh, juice. That's, that's exactly what I did. I don't know what the fuck got in me. I've never said, ooh, juice, in my life. I, I've been at Jamba and not say, ooh, juice. <laughs> he scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I went from Arsenio Hall to Rue Hall. 